Hi, I'm Nick, and in these videos, I'm going to show you how you can create and configure real-time testing applications using NIBERISTAN. First, let's take a look at the hardware that we're going to be using. So what we've got here is an NIPXI real-time dual-core controller with an NI data acquisition device and an FPGA card. The NI data acquisition device is connected to this signal accessory. The signal accessory has a function generator on it that's connected to the analog input zero of our data acquisition card. So now that we've taken a look at the hardware, let's create our NIVERISTAN configuration in project. So we'll go to File, New Project. OK, and Veristan will create our project for us. And what we have here is we've got the NIVERISTAN project. And this is composed of two main components, the workspace, which we'll look at later, and the system definition file. The system definition file is what we use to configure simulation models, hardware I.O., alarms, procedures, and any other task that needs to run in real time. All right, so now we're in the system definition. And here we can expand this, expand the controller, and look at our hardware. As you can see, we can import data acquisition devices, FPGA, automotive networks like CAN, LIN, and FlexRay. And we can also import a custom plugin code that we've written in LabVIEW and LabVIEW Real Time. This allows us to communicate with third-party instruments and devices, as well as create custom real-time functionality. So let's take a look at our system and import the hardware that we're going to use today. So we'll load the hardware discovery wizard, and it will find that we have a data acquisition card and an FPGA card. For this, we'll just take a look at the data acquisition card. So we'll import that, and we'll finalize. And now our data acquisition device is present in our system explorer and system configuration. The other thing we can do with data acquisition devices starting in NIVERISTAN 2012 is add high-speed data acquisition and monitoring tasks in these waveform tasks. Now, if I want to add NI data acquisition channels, I right-click on Add Channels, and I can select whether or not I want to do single point or high-speed input or waveform input. I can also select the type of measurement that I want to take. So in this case, we have voltage or thermal couple, strain measurements or RTD measurements. In this case, we'll just look at voltage. And I can set the, the range of the device that I want to use. Then I can select which channels that I want to import, which channels I want to acquire from. And my channels are present in the system. This one. For AI0, we'll append it as noise. And now the data acquisition channel is present in the system. The other thing I can do is I can apply custom scales to my data acquisition channels. I can create these scales in NIVERISTAN, so I can create a polynomial or a thermocouple scale. I can also import scales that I've created in Measurement and Automation Explorer. So I go to Import from Max, and I can import my scale. And now my scale populates. And then I can apply that scale to any of the channels in my system. So here, I've got my measurement type. I go to select scale, and I select my scale, and now that scale is applied to my data acquisition channel. So we've looked at how we can use NIVERISTAN to configure real-time I.O. that includes high-speed data acquisition, custom scales, and FPGA personalities. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can import simulation models to connect those simulation models to real-time I.O.